Okay, neat. Okay, let me go grab a bunch of stuff. This is the IRL loot haul video. So here we go. Let's start with some. Let's start with oh. Sh so I'll start with some. So these are some shirts that Mr. Fruit got. I voice chatted him, or sorry, I video chat him at the Pokemon store in Tokyo. And I was like, what do you want? And he's like, I want a lot of things that are not gonna fit in your bag very easily whatsoever. And I was like, don't know how I feel about that, but I got you. So here we go. This first one, it's like a this black and white shirt, but it's pretty neat. The next one is the, the little owl dude. He really likes the owl dude. There's a lot of, he bought like basically all of these shirts that were available. Just like the, the cool design thingy. Rowlet, yeah. Uh, this is a, I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can see it. Team, was it Team Magma, basically? Yeah. So that's that. That's this shirt. This I think also comes with like a pin, or something. Yeah, I think there's like a little pin down here. This one was much more expensive. The little dweeb uh, Pikachu and and Eevee, and then the last uh, one of these shirts. These are these ones are really cool. I was considering getting one. But I'm just not that invested in Pokemon. This is the only thing I got from the Pokemon store, which is the 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 Porygon shirt. I really like. I saw this shirt and I was like, I need this shirt. So this is the shirt that I got from the Pokemon store. Danielle really likes English, so just like just basically random like phrases on stuff. So I saw this shirt and I was like, oh, she might like this. It just says, ice cream, do you want some? With a picture of some Asian lady. And that's it. And I was like, she might like this. And then she was like, I want that. And then I bought it. So, you know, that's for you, Danielle. Enjoy that. And it's got like these little, like, like these things like are actually out, outside of the shirt. And then we got some more shirts. This is from, these shirts are from Uniqlo. Which, like, all these shirts were like, I think like 10 or 15 bucks. Um... I really, I just really like the design on this one, so I, I got it. Uh, and they're also doing a Mario uh, collab at the Uniqlo, so I got this guy right here. This one is for Danielle because she really likes polka dots. But it's got like booze and stuff. This one is also from Uniqlo from from MoMA <laughs> Museum of Modern Art. I don't know, I just kind of like the design on it. So I got this shirt too. Um, then we got some streetwear stuff. Okay. So we got Bape white hoodie. This is like, this is like the super popular, like most popular sh Japanese like streetwear brand out there. I got a simple hoodie, white hoodie like a little little logo guy right here it also has where is it on the sleeves there you go this was expensive very expensive way too expensive for a hoodie i'm dumb but it's nice and i like it so then went to neighborhood neighborhood long sleeve shirt I wanted to get a couple of things from a couple of different brands. I didn't want to just get all Bape stuff. So I got something from Neighborhood. And then this is a hoodie for Danielle. But it's from a place called, and this is the name of it. It's called F Rabbits. But the U and the C are X's. See what I mean? 
So, like, the current style in Japan is, like, super baggy, super long clothing right now. Man, why is my frame rate just tanking whenever I show this? So, this is the front of the hoodie. This is just the front. Seems normal. Anime girl drinking milk on the back. Don't ask. I don't know. Also, on the sleeve, it says, No online sales, no sexual service. This was $150. Actually, a little bit less. I'm, I'm going 100 yen to $1. That's not the conversion rate. It's more like 110 but it's just in my mind, it's easier to just do that. Okay. Um, so that was some. Let's get some more. First is just like... Oh, this is more Pokemon stuff. This is like a... Whatever the fake Pikachu is, this is just like a mask. Then we, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm showing this. This is just a Ravenclaw scarf that I got from the Harry Potter world at, at Universal. But Danielle really likes Ravenclaw. So I was like, what do you want? And she's like, anything with Ravenclaw on it. And I was like, that's relatively inexpensive. Um, Sonic really likes uh, this character in Persona 5. So I got him a little keychain and then I found him this shirt. After looking for a figure of this character for probably about three hours. I found one eventually, but it was a pre-order for something that was coming out later this month. But fortunately, we went into a store that had a full Atlas section of just, like, just Persona stuff. And as soon as I saw this shirt, I was like, dude, this is the best we're doing. And honestly, I was considering just getting this shirt for myself in a small... Just because I thought it looked dope. This is a bape. This is another bape shirt for. Uh, this is for Danielle. So it's just like the. This is all it is. It's just the the little the, the little monkey. In pink on a black shirt. But I think it's a pretty cool shirt. Is it fake bape? I can assure you that I bought it at a bape store. Pokemon. More Pokemon. This is all Mr. Fruit stuff. Mr. Fruit bought a lot of stuff, but it's all pretty neat. Blastoise, you boy again. I think that's most of it. Oh, hang on. So we got the Game of Thrones Ultra Boosts. It was either these or the red ones. Like all all of them looked really, really cool, but most of them uh, looked like just like regular ultra boost that you could just kind of get. But these, I was like, dude, I gotta get these. I think we went to four stores before I was able to find a pair in my size. Pretty, uh, pretty stoked about these guys. To end it, I have, these are matcha and chocolate cookies from Kyoto. How much I get the shoes for? The shoes were 22,000 yen, so about 200 bucks. We got all the stuff in here. I spent $71 on Kit Kats. This is some sort of red bean flavor. It doesn't even say it. Well, I mean, it doesn't in English. And then this is like, I guess this is green tea? Maybe. This is, looks like ra raspberry? Raspberry. These are, I don't even know what these are. This is like regular with like almond and like some sort of berry on them on top over here. Miss 5000 Watts really wanted me to get these chips, so I got them. And okay, so the reason why it was so expensive for the Kit Kats is because if you get them in this bag, they're $3, right? $3, this is just regular chocolate, I think. This is dark chocolate. Those are $3 bags, easy. Not all the flavors comes in those bags, though. These were $8. This is wasabi flavor Kit Kats. I only bought these so that I could eat them on stream one day and, and get a reaction. That's literally the only reason I bought them. These are 
Apple. Apple Kit Kats. These are mint yogurt. Mint yogurt. These are strawberry. That should be easy. Strawberry. This is strawberry cheesecake. Should also be pretty easy. This is Sakura Japanese Sake. Oh, maybe this was the green tea. Maybe that's a green tea. I don't know. There's two different kinds of green tea. And I think that's everything. Yep, I think that is everything that I got in Japan. That's everything. I spent far too much money on stuff in Japan. This is, this is the only karaoke room I've ever been in. Oh, really? You've never done karaoke? No. Oh my god, I hate karaoke. Because I'm... Because I get embarrassed.